Have you ever wondered what the perfect GoPro Hero 11 vlogging setup would look like? Well, this is the setup that I use every single day and today we're going to take a look and see exactly what it is. Oh my God, it's absolutely freezing here in Ireland today. So there's no doubt that the GoPro, and in particular the GoPro Hero 11, uh, is fantastic as an action camera. I mean, that's what these things were made for. But also, it can be a brilliant vlogging setup because of its small form factor and less inconspicuous. Uh, they make an absolutely great vlogging camera. Now, to get straight into it, one of the first things I think that you're going to need is a media mod. The media mod is going to allow you to connect external microphones and give you a much better quality sound. So the next accessory that you're going to want uh, to take with you is the GoPro Volta. So for me the Volta is an absolutely fantastic accessory to have. It's probably the one accessory that goes in my bag every single time. It's going to allow me to record all day long and I've yet to run out of battery, especially when it's connected to the GoPro Volta. Okay, so like I said, when you're using the media mod, it's going to give you the option to mount an external microphone right here on the top. Now, because I'm shooting today in 25 frames per second, basically what I have is I'm at 25 frames per second. Uh, the shutter rate is at 1 over 50. So I've just put an ND8 filter on here as well. This is a recording using the Movo microphone. This is mounted on the top of the GoPro. So this is a recording of the Movo microphone that's going directly into the media mod. Now one of the problems that I actually have in regards to this microphone right now, um, I'm shooting in wide. So because I'm in wide, if I needed a wind muff on this, which I actually have here, if I put the wind muff on the top, now unfortunately here, most of the time, the wind muff will actually, you go, you're going to be able to see that. So either you have to trim that wind muff down or else get something that will extend it a little bit higher. Now even if I shoot in linear mode, it's still going to show up a little bit in the frame as well. That's one of the problems with that. Now you also have the option obviously not to use uh, an external microphone and you could use the microphone that's actually built in to the media mod itself. But to be honest with you, it's not a great microphone. I don't like that microphone. This is a recording using just the microphone on the front of the media mod. So this is a recording using just the microphone on the front of the media mod. Now I think myself what a better option is, um, is to use the built-in microphones that are actually on the camera itself. So right now this is a recording of, and you can hear all the crows in the background, this is a recording just on the microphones on the GoPro Hero 11 itself. Now when it comes to external microphones, the one that I always use and that I actually have, that I'm using right now, which is mounted to my Canon camera, is uh, to use a wireless mic system. So what I basically have on here is, I've got a lavalier microphone that's connected to the pack that's just on the side here, which is this one, um, and then going to the top of the camera. So the option would be just to mount the receiver on the top here, uh, which I'll show you that and then you've got distance. So if I was to leave my GoPro right where this camera is right now, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna walk away. So the further I walk away, you can still hear my voice. So, you know, I'm a good 20 feet or whatever it is away right now, and uh, or 25 feet. So that gives you a much better option. And it's less of a form factor, it's not, you don't notice it as much as well on the top of the GoPro because it's just a little box basically is all it is. So I think that's a much better option. I do much prefer because your source is now a lot closer uh, to or your, when you're speaking, it's a lot closer to your source so it's a much better setup. Now this time this is a recording using the wireless microphone. So this is a recording using the wireless microphone. How does this sound? I'm guessing that this is probably the best quality out of all of them. This is a recording using the microphone wirelessly. So I've got a lapel which is located just up here and using the wireless system. 
So hopefully this sounds the best out of all of them. Now, one of the things that GoPros are not very good at, as we know, is low light. One accessory that I have included is a light. So this one is a Ulanzi. I think it's the VL49. This is a fantastic light. Uh, I've had it for a while now. So I really only need it for any low light conditions that, you know, indoor, uh, if I need to shoot. So I don't use it that often. Um, but it's definitely something to have if you're vlogging at night or anything like that. So the light itself, I'll actually remove it here right now. So this is the light itself, as you can see. Um, and right now, I believe it's at its lowest setting. So this is the lowest setting. A little bit brighter, brighter again and again. And this is the full brightest one that you're actually going to need. So with this set, with this actually mounted on the top up here, I mean, that's pretty bright. So it's going to be really good in lower light conditions. So uh, definitely get your hands on some type of light source anyway, especially for vlogging at night. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll show you what it's like in the pitch dark. So this is just indoors right now. And um, works perfect. Thanks for tuning in folks, hopefully you got something from that video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to like the video and I'll see you all again next time. Don't forget to stick around, there's a couple of more videos coming up and I'll see you all very very soon. Thanks for tuning in, bye!